Another three men have been arrested by detectives investigating the murder of journalist Lyra McKee. The men were arrested in Londonderry this morning. Lyra was shot dead in April 2019 as she observed rioting in the city. Three other men have already been charged with her murder. Another five have been charged with rioting and associated offences. Close to 1,000 Afghans are to be welcomed into Northern Ireland as part of a government scheme to provide sanctuary for those most at risk from the Taliban. The executive has confirmed that 360 refugees will be relocated here next year, with more to follow at a later date. The executive office said it was making preparations to support arrivals as soon as possible. Proposals by Sinn Féin to introduce new regulations around the erection of bonfires on public land in Belfast have not been adopted by the City Council. The motion would have set conditions including the requirement for public liability insurance and a risk assessment. Councillors have backed an amendment by the Alliance Party to carry out a review ahead of next year's bonfire season. Still to come on tonight's programme, getting ready for Christmas, but will an ongoing turkey supply problem affect us here? And from Donegal to the world, boxer Jason Quigley secures his shot at a world title. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to UTV Live. Time now to look at the headlines making tonight's ITV News at 6.30. And here's Charlene White. Coming up, Priti Patel announces an inquiry into how Wayne Cousins continued to work as a police officer. He murdered Sarah Everard despite previous allegations against him. The Home Secretary says the public deserves some answers. Also ahead, the Prime Minister warns of a tough winter with a risk of big price rises, telling us there's no alternative. Plus, Facebook's apology for the six-hour outage that took down all of its services. Join us for those stories and more from 6.30. Following panic buying in other parts of the UK, the Northern Ireland Retail Consortium, which represents supermarkets here, says that there shouldn't be any concerns about the availability of frozen turkeys this Christmas. But there is a sense that some people are beginning to plan for the big day sooner than usual, as Paul Riley reports. Like it or not, the countdown to Christmas has begun, and this year customers wanting these county down turkeys are getting in early. This time last year we only had five orders. Um, today, this time last year, uh, already we have 20 times that. Usually we don't take orders until the start of October, but we've had people contacting us since the end of August to make sure they have their turkey. But it's the frozen variety that have been making the national headlines. Supermarket shoppers in England panic buying, leading to a 400% rise in demand, not something experienced here. I think people there have been a little bit afraid because of the HGV uh, driver shortage and, and, and for other reasons as well. The good news for here in Northern Ireland is that we are a net exporter of food, especially those wonderful things that we eat around Christmas time, such as turkeys uh, or sausages and, and even beef. And we're 1.9 million people here. We actually feed about 10 million people here. So I'm quite certain that we're very safe here in Northern Ireland for our Christmas dinners. This Christmas we'll see some changes for customers here. Marks and Spencer has already temporarily paused its ordering service, citing current challenges in the food industry and suggesting the potential for letting customers down would be too risky. Quite simply, the standstill on the protocol and on those grace periods didn't come early enough. Um, for some retailers to flick that switch back on to allow uh, the, the supply to continue as, as, as usual. There may still be 81 days to go, but it doesn't seem Christmas with all the trimmings is in any doubt. Paul Riley, UTV Live. Donegal boxer Jason Quigley is preparing to go stateside as he aims to win a world title next month. As Daniel Duffy reports, the Bally Buffet fighter will be the underdog but he's ready to take his chance. Bobo Andrew, now you're the champ. You're always crying that you don't have people to fight you. I'll get in there and put on one hell of a fight with you. I've got a belt, you've got the main one. 
give me a crack at that title. He said he wanted it, and now he's got it. Jason Quigley has landed a world title shot against Demetrius Andrade for the WBU middleweight title next month in New Hampshire. A prospect the Bala Buffet man is relishing. It's been in the works for a while. There's been a lot of big fights talked about for me over the last maybe two years there. I'm one step away now from, from getting to the actual top and getting to the pinnacle. There's a lot of work left to do and you know I have one more step and, and that's getting in there and being crowned the world champion. From Bally Buffet, County Donegal, Ireland. With travel restrictions to the States being lifted before the bout, Quigley will have no shortage of support. Lovely job. We all know what the Irish support's like, and I know that the Irish fans are going to turn out in numbers to cheer me on in achieving a goal that I've set out from day one as a boxer, and that is becoming world champion. And what a celebration the Irish fans will have on November 19th. With the fight just over six weeks away, the countdown is on to see if Irish boxing can produce another knockout performance on the world stage. Daniel Duffy, UTV Live. That hurt. Now, let's uh, catch up on the weather. Louise Small has the forecast. Rain wasn't on the forecast. Ah, well. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Hello there, good evening. It was a fairly pleasant day with sunny spells and just the odd shower. The next few days will feel a lot milder, but a band of rain will move in over the next 24 hours. Looking at the pressure sequence, a ridge of high pressure will develop, bringing milder temperatures from the south, but will soon cloud over from the west, setting the scene for the rest of the week as a frontal system brings pulses of rain and stronger winds. A bright end to the day with just a few further isolated showers. Winds will pick up around the coast for a time through tonight, but will ease after midnight. As skies begin to clear, it will turn chilly overnight with lows dipping possibly to 4 degrees Celsius in some rural spots. Wednesday will start bright and fairly pleasant with generally light northerly winds. However, as clouds start to build and nudge in from the west, rain will move throughout all parts throughout the day with highs of 14 degrees Celsius. Across the rest of Ireland, central and southern parts will stay cloudy and dry with outbreaks of rain mainly over higher ground. Winds will move from a south to southwesterly direction and freshen through the afternoon with temperatures reaching the mid-teens. Looking ahead, temperatures are on the rise with 19 degrees expected on Thursday. They'll hold up overnight too, so we could have some very muggy nights to come. But despite the milder conditions, it will be wet over the next couple of days with rain becoming more persistent and heavy over higher ground on Friday. That is the very latest. Have a lovely evening. Home, happy as you like, even with a little compromise. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Well, that's the way it is this Tuesday, the 5th of October. ITV News continues now with Charlene White. But for now, from all of us on the team, good evening. Good evening.